Showing off Don't wanna have to wait tonight Wait tonight Better off I'm gonna find my way tonight Wait tonight Won't you talk to me? I wanna hear your sorrow Won't you talk to me? We'll make a new tomorrow Won't you talk to me? One night to find the answer Won't you talk to me? What makes this happy faster? Hey, what's up guys? Long time no see. It has been a while since I posted another video on YouTube and I'm really and I'm really sorry about that. I just don't get called out to drive anymore these days. Here I am tonight. We're actually doing a local shuttle. Uh, one of our drivers got sick and so I had to fill in. I gotta go pick him up in like 15 minutes right down the street over there. Tomorrow is another full day of this local shuttle. I'm just staying in town but tonight we got about another two hours before the shuttle actually comes to an end. Right now it's currently 6.30, we gotta pick them up at 6.45. We're just gonna shuttle them up and down um, the street, taking them to the parking lot and all that good stuff. So. It's kind of a snowy, drizzly night. The weather actually really sucks right now. It's snowy, windy, and wet. There's some really good food places in town that I really want to show you guys. So maybe tomorrow, after the morning shuttle, we'll go out and grab something to eat. But right now, I gotta get going and pick up my group. One of the bad things is where they have me park is like, I'm like totally impeding traffic. Like that guy just got stuck behind me and all this, all these cars are kind of boxing him in. And this is, this is a really busy road. So not the best place for, uh, for a bus to kind of just be sitting. Okay, we made about eight rounds around the block now. I'm not going very far. This whole night, I've been basically going right over there, that parking lot, then I turn left and I go to that hotel where that little red light above my fingertip is and I go all the way around the block and I'm back here. 
These are the kind of trips that motor coach drivers do sometimes. It's not always long road trips to Disney World, hanging out at the Cubs game or Sox game, whatever you're a fan of. All you do is drive around in circles. And I'm having a good time doing it. We've officially gotten the go ahead to um, head home. I gotta be out here at 6.45 tomorrow. That's our first departure. So I gotta be in the shop about 5.15. That's a wrap. Let's go home. Hey, good morning guys. I'm gonna head to the office, pre-trip the bus, and um, start our route. Got the bus pre-tripped and it's warming up right now and uh, we're about to head back out onto campus to resume our campus shuttle 6 45 is our first departure time and we're gonna go till about 8 we don't have to go back till about 2 in the afternoon that leaves us a lot of time during the day to go get us some pho and I'm feeling like pho today We just got to the I Hotel. Decided to park this thing under the canopy, which is the first time I've ever done this. I don't like taking buses underneath hotel canopies, even though they seem tall enough. It's just, I don't know, something I'm just nervous about. And this canopy is really hard to get in if you have a full size bus, but I'm in a little tiny uh, 35 footer today, so I uh, figured I'd give it a try. But yeah, we're gonna sit here for about 15 minutes and let people board. Then we're gonna head to the Illini Union, which is where they get off. We're going to repeat this process all the way till about 8.30, I think is what the itinerary says. And then uh, we'll head back to the office, hang out for a bit, and then go get some lunch. Let's start the circling. It's 8.30, we're gonna head back to the garage. I am starving. Can't wait till 11 o'clock comes around. I'm 
this is a great day to get a bowl of pho. We're back in the shop. Um, we're gonna hang out here for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna get some paperwork done. Then we're gonna head out, grab a bite to eat. It's lunchtime. And it's still snowing. Oh, Will's joining us. Hello. So I got some people joining me for lunch. I got John, I got Roy, I got Will here. Well, we're gonna go get food up. We're gonna eat the food. A day like today, probably the best thing you can eat. So the place we're going to is called Golden Walk. All right, can I get the uh, pho special with uh, extra meatballs, extra beef? Okay. This spoon is essential for eating pho. You need one of these. So this is one of my all-time favorite places to eat pho. The thing about pho is the broth has to be really good. Now, everybody kind of has their own take on it. If you were in Southeast Asia, like Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Getting a bowl of pho is like getting a hamburger here. Like you could literally walk down the street and some little grandma would be cooking it either on a street side or in a little shop. And you have to have hot oil. Uh, if you don't like spicy stuff, then we can't be friends. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Oh, that's, that's, that's what you want on a cold winter day. All kinds of cuts of beef or some sliced beef, some meatball, and somewhere in here is some brisket. Right there, some brisket. Always taste the broth first. Ah. No, it's good. No. Just add some broth. Meatballs, nice and chewy. It's got a really good mouthfeel. The noodles are nice and firm. They're not soggy at all. The broth is just, it's got a bit of an herbaceous taste to it, really beefy. Like that's the epitome of beef. A nice fatty edge on this piece of meat. Yes. Another thing I like to do, get some herb sriracha, some hoisin. Just gotta do the dunk. You could eat a bowl of this and go out in a t-shirt, be okay. Pho is one of those comfort foods that when I'm sick, it's just, it's all I want. Like, it literally, when you take your first sip, it reaches to the depth of your soul. Every bite of pho I eat, it's like Morgan Freeman gives me a hug. That's how comforting this stuff is. So I'm really glad this restaurant's empty right now because I get really self-conscious when there's people in a restaurant and I'm trying to vlog because I have to sit here and talk to a camera and be overly passionate and enthusiastic, like almost near orgasm face, describing the food I'm eating. And people just look at you like you're weird when you do that. And so it's taken a long time to really get over that hump. I'm still not over it yet. I'm still self-conscious about it, but I'm to the point where I can do it. Whereas there was a point in time when I just, I just couldn't sit here and talk to myself. It also helps to have friends with you because then they associate everyone here as kind of weirdos and psychos. And it's not just me. And it's all good. Confidence in numbers. Now I'm sweating. No mercy. That's how Asians drink soup. When you get down to the bottom of the bowl, that's where all the bits and pieces of the spice and seasonings, all the good stuff's down there. Well guys, that's it. I just cleaned up the coach, uh, did the post trip. Um, we're done for the day. I did not get much sleep last night. I'm gonna go home and get some sleep. As always, thank you guys so much for uh, following along. Hope you guys had a good time. Um, I really wish I could post more. I'm gonna see if I can't get on the road a little more uh, this season, just, just so I can put more content on YouTube. And also, I, I love driving too, so. Thanks for following along. Thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for being patient. Um, I know a lot of you have waited a long time to watch my videos, and I really do appreciate it. Thanks for all the great comments I've been getting. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys soon, and we'll catch you on the next video. Toodles. I'm